Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, I'm a little sick, but don't worry, you'll get used to my voice. And today, I want to talk about why Fallout New Vegas is the best Fallout game. Now, I've played Fallout, um, I want to say it was 2. I played the tutorial and I kind of stopped when I got overweight with, like, carcasses. I played Fallout 3, played Fallout 4, and played Fallout New Vegas. And New Vegas of Fallout 3 and 4 in New Vegas. 2 I played when I was, like, 4 years old. Don't count it. But for Fallout New Vegas... This was the Fallout game that held my attention the most. Yes, you have Fallout 3 and 4, and they have cool systems, but New Vegas, something about it, it just kept my attention. And this is why I think it's the best Fallout game. Now, Fallout is not my main series to play. I'm not an expert in any of these games, but I can clearly say New Vegas is my favorite. It has... I, I specifically like it because of the factions in it. The factions, even though... I believe three of them I didn't even touch. The three that I did touch were amazing. They were so cool. And not only do you have the factions, but then you have the fact that there's the city-state, so to say, of Las Vegas going on with Mr. House. Funny enough, I had a teacher whose last name was House. It's hilarious. But the personality in this game was amazing. Like, Fallout 3 and 4, I feel like you're thrown into the game, and your role is not well-defined, and I feel like the world's, it's kind of like, eh, it's a post-apocalyptic world, and their roles are okay, but they're not the best. In New Vegas, like, it's like, this is an old Western Fallout game, and it's very clear that it's an old Western 1920s, 30s Fallout game. You can clearly tell it, and that is where I think it rises above everyone else. Yes, it's still got the same mechanics of most of the games where you pick perks, you sell stuff, you buy stuff, you buy ammo, all this, you know, crap that you do. But, all above that, the world's amazing. I, the side quests in this game, I didn't do a lot of them, but they're pretty cool. Like, this game, I feel like you could just explore, and... You were always greeted with cool new things, right? There's the aliens who, you know, or the mutants who wanted to get launched into space or whatever. There's, um, or sorry, the ghouls. There's the mutants, right? There's New Vegas itself. There's the New California Republic. There's the Legion or Legionnaires or whatever they're called, right? Just lots of good stuff going on. And it felt like, it felt like a game where, yes, your choices mattered, but it wasn't the focus of the game, so the focus on that was taken off. The focus of the game was the ruthlessness of it. And at the end of the game, you feel like a ruthless killer. You feel like someone who is like a product of the world. And I think that makes a great game. Yes, it's open world and it gives you the option to mess around and stuff. But it gives you... It's almost like you're getting from point A to B... You're going to end up at B no matter what, but you get to do it however you want. And that's how, what I think makes this game good. Is you go from A to B, you go to B however you want, but you know you're going to end up at B, and you strive to get to B because when you get to point B, you're amazing. You go from a weak like person, like all the rest of the villagers and stuff, to a ruthless killer. And that's what makes Fallout New Vegas good. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Again, it's got rewarding gameplay, and it's got that A to B, however you want. Those are, I think, the two main things that make Fallout New Vegas great. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.